Anyway, let's get into the final game of the night. This is the fifth game of Unity versus League of Liberty. We will see if Unity play ultra defensive because they don't care if it's a draw or a win for them. They will win regardless. It's up to the League of Liberty guys to take control of this battle and get the win. Yep, let's see if they decide to go, dare I say, defensive. Um, Life of Surf is going to his spot where um, he went the last few times as well. We have Lucky Rusher following him. Strico is following him as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have Crazy, Belka and Man177 in the base. Man protecting the Artie and the Artie protecting Belka. Oh, oh, what a shot against Lucky Russia. They've obviously got someone waiting for them here. And uh, that was very unfortunate for him. Another shot against him. 12 HP left. This is not going well for the uh, League of Liberty guys. Lucky Russia is not so lucky. He has been hit twice already. And that's just not good for him. We're less than a minute into the game. And he's oh, almost down. Yeah, so, oh, again, he really has to be careful. He can't really get away because they are looking that way. Let's see if he can. Let's see if he, oh, they keep on doing it. Yeah, just stay hidden. Let them know, let them just think that you're there. Yeah. Um, they know you're at 12 HP. They're going to keep trying to get you. They've seen the bloodlust and they're going to try and take it out. If they know where you are, you're dead. But look at this line. They've got one guy. One guy, four squares up. Everyone else are three squares and below. Yep. Oh, wait. Strico. S Strico is going out there. Uh, yeah. Strico, sorry, is going out there to see what is going on. He's always a replacement scout when the T50-2 fails or doesn't want to go forward. And he <laughs> goes, sees, uh, runs into Elizwas, but uh, comes back down immediately because he realizes that if he goes up there alone, he's just going to be taken out. What is this defensive play, though? They, do they realize if they draw this game, they lose the set? I don't know. <sighs> yeah. I've really got to be careful now because they have a full HP T50-2 who could be coming dashing through and ruining every single plan they have of defending well this time around. Because any other tank apart from Lucky Rusher has been very defensive again and mm -hmm. Strico here is once again going back and forward just peeking a little bit <laughs> and retreating and that's the name of the game it has been the name of the set as well um, very, very very carefully after the the first draw because then it could end up in well in a draw all the way if you if they just won to each, so um, yes. they really don't want to do that. No, this is why Unity is playing so defensively. They have no reason to be aggressive right now because they're going to go for the, the um, safe bet. They've always played it carefully. The last four games have shown that they play ultra carefully. They're not going to be aggressive if they don't have to be because if this is the draw, they win. Yep, they have one too. So it's really up to to the League of Liberty to do anything in this match. And we see the Storm Panther get taken out by Why the was he so far forward? Two. You did say that earlier that he was so far forward protecting the crazy Valka. That was crazy decision making. Yeah, I don't know because he can reach the uh, the positions that the enemy was in. So I, don't, I have no idea why he was right there. I don't, I don't know. I can't defend that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was... Uh, you mentioned it immediately, saying about how crazy that was, and he goes down very early, which just proves your point that that was special tactics. Yes. We're up to, what, five now? If we count the stone. Yeah, no. five special tactics on mines, all of which, well, what apart from one, are pretty special. Yeah. But remember, guys, your Storm Panzer II is best used to protect your uh, T69s. But Live for Surf and Str oh, Live for Surf has tracked an engine damage from the AMX 30, and uh, 
The Outro Ledger is actually in a great position, not receiving much damage. And we'll be able to take out Limp for Surf. He gets one more shot off at him. Will it work? No. 55 HP. And he goes down to Streco. Limp for Surf then is taken out by the T50-2 with Elwas, who goes and easily finishes off the Lucky Rusher, because obviously he was at 12 HP. This is why you don't want to lose HP early on, guys, because that will happen. Streco there is actually getting chased by the... Um... Oh, rock. <laughs> <laughs> A wild rock appears to stop him, but that doesn't save him. Cap from afar, wherever he was, um, was able to take him down. So that was unfortunate. The bad man of GG, Fragilis, goes out saying, hey, we've won. Don't even bother. We've won. Yeah, they could just sit back and do nothing from now on, and they would win. So, yeah. Yeah. Unity and uh, the League of Liberty guys, I would say, are the weakest performance we've seen so far in the sense of they are allowing the themselves to be controlled by the other people. Unity, uh, we've actually seen them play before, and they've not changed their style. They were playing this sort of tactic all the way back in 2012, and then every team was doing that strategy. But since then, the meta has moved on, and everyone is now aggressive because they realize the aggressive tactic is much better when you take control of the battle. Unity doesn't seem to have moved on. They're still playing with the old tactics. So I can't wait to see Unity versus one of the more aggressive teams to see if their tactic it does actually hold up still these days. But the crazy yeah. Balka is able to take out Falcon. Yeah, you <laughs> every kill counts. But the ammo rack eventually goes down, and that is GG. Yes. At least they call GG. Uh, we haven't seen GG at all in uh, in another game. Ah, uh, we see it very rarely, but yes. Yeah, it's not needed. And uh, um, the good luck, have fun. You, they know that. They know. So there's no real they reason know. for writing it. Yeah, have fun. Have but fun. Not too much fun. Did, You're gonna did, lose. So. Did you have fun? <laughs> did you have fun? Dying to us, basically, is, is what they're saying there. But the end result being 1-3 to Unity. And, you know, that was probably the slowest game we've uh, had to witness uh, over the last um, two days. The last eight sets were all aggressive by at least one team or both teams. This was the first one we've seen ultra defensive by both teams and it didn't really work out for them either so no. um i would say that oh, i don't know i want to see unity versus a more aggressive team like um rage or yeah. by rush themselves and see how they respond there because they must have good success with this defensive tactic but it just seems a bit underhanded a bit bad mannered you know Wait, okay, we've won one game. Let's just draw the next four because we can win off one win. It just seems a bit bad mannered. It seems a bit underhanded. But, you know, it's it's a win's a win. You know, it's strategic. It's all about strategy and there's no reason they can't do it. It's not illegal. It's not against the rules. But I would definitely say it should be frowned upon. Yeah, it should. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we'll cut it um, short there. Because we've been casting all night. I've not actually eaten. Uh, but I will go through Either. the usual announcements. Tomorrow we'll be casting from 8 p.m. Central European time. Uh, follow us on YouTube at YouTube slash Riveting TV. All the links in that should be below or not. I don't know. We'll say it in mm -hmm. the chat. Um, my name is Dorjan. You can follow me on Twitter at Twitter slash Dorjanar. And I am HighFlat15. And you can follow me on twitter as well on the rising sun um and also the rising sun on youtube that's a great place to go for a lot of uh tips and tricks on how to become better for yourself if you want to go into professional gaming it's a really good place to start also some live tank stuff and some other really awesome things if you want to see these games or if you miss some of the games you joined us very late go to youtube slash the riveting tv archive and there you'll see the games come up over the next few days so that's awesome anything else sir no not actually um follow us on facebook as well to to get the uh, the uh, fastest update on when we go live i think i try and use that place as much as i can and also yeah. any news and competitions we do or any links to any videos and stuff that we think is appropriate so that's really nice anyway we will see you tomorrow i'm dorjan 
I'm Highfly15. We're Riveting TV. This is Star Ladder, the Golden League, and see you tomorrow. Game over, man. Game over. Game over, man. <laughs>